Hello YouTube. Hello, 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 hello YouTube. First of all, let's give all worship honor. Worship honor. Thanksgiving. So much, send so much love up to the kingdom family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the angelical life beings for doing such amazing work for humanity in this dark hour. Give all Thanksgiving, even through the bad, give Thanksgiving. Send so much love in to, to the kingdom family, the unseen. They're up there, but the reason why majority cannot feel the supernatural love and protection is because the world is offering too many unrealistic varieties of lies. And I have to say it that way. Unrealistic varieties of lies. The church now is a, 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 a fun house now. You can go to church and you can have carnivals, you can have uh, roller coaster rides, and literally you can do this though. Literally, that's how their the worldly gospel is pulling souls in by having fun. Honey, the gospel is not fun. It is not fun. It is to overcome that wicked one. Now, I, me, myself, now that I know that the truth is truth, I know the real truth, not the lying truth, but the real truth, being as though I've been baptized with the Holy Spirit, let me tell y'all something. Don't play with the living Father. Please don't play with the living Father. See, for so long, the world just been telling other people how to pull the beam out of their eyes, but a mute is still in theirs. This is what the world been doing for so very long. Listen, it's time for each individual to get into alignment with the Most High and His Son. Do not think the Father gave up His only begotten Son so you can have fun on earth. Come on, no. Come on, no. That's that as Paul said, that carnal commandments. See them, those carnal commandments. Yesterday on Sabbath, I had a amazing cleansing. Amazing cleansing. Fasting. Oh, I was in the Word of God last yesterday. So deep. Like, I jumped from Ezekiel, from Ezekiel to Hebrew, from Hebrews, 2 Timothy's, the 2 Timothy's, the 1 Timothy's, the Titus. Oh, man, I walked Paul down yesterday from Ezekiel to Paul. And let me tell you something. The word is so refreshing spiritually, spiritually. I am one vessel that can truly say that any hardship, any tribulation, any trauma, anything that Satan throw my way, the Father had me to go through it alone. I had to bear that pain alone. And what I mean by alone, no other vessels were around me to support me. That's what I'm trying to say. People would stand back and watch to see if I was going to come out of what I went in. But see, they didn't know my father. At that moment, I didn't know my father. Truth be told. See, I love to tell the truth because, see, the truth will set you free. And I mean spiritually. I ain't mean setting you free by getting out of what you done done or nothing like that. No, you should be able to burn through what you done done. You should be able to say what you went through. You should be able to stand up and justify your sins. Instead of hiding them. Instead of allowing Satan and his buddies to hold you prisoner to your own self. No, you should be a prisoner to Jesus Christ. I'm in prison with Jesus and I ain't coming out. Instead of being held prisoner to Satan and then you end up burning in the lake of fire because you would not even stand up to those demons. They can't do nothing. I tell anybody, hold tight to your towel. Hold tight till the very last thread. Endure. 
go through the long suffering. It makes you strong. I am a living witness. I'm a strong vessel the way the Father built me. The Father built me super strong. He built me. Ain't nobody else built me. Yes, I came through my mama's womb. Yes, I, I was made by man. Yes, I was. But I've been redeemed. I've been converted. I've been restored. I've been renewed. I've been reborn. I'm not here trying to look down on others. I'm not here to even look down on no one. I have no right to. But I'm here to tell you how to get out of them demons. You got to burn. You got to let that, them demonic spirits burn off of you inside. Because if you don't let them burn when they come back again, you, will, you won't be able to stand up to them. You're going to fall down and, and bow to Satan again. And it's going to be worse off than the last time. That's why I, so, I always know and I always say on a regular basis, read the word for yourself. Read the word for yourself on a daily basis. When you eat, read. When you think negative, read. When you start feeling your flesh overpowering you, read. When you start feeling depressed, read. When you start feeling like your mind can't stop thinking about past things, read. Anything that come across you that is not of goodness, read. It don't matter. No matter if people turn against you, read the word. So the word can power you in inwardly. Not outwardly, inwardly. Because see, the Father don't care about the flesh, I'm here to tell you. That's something Satan care about. When you start sowing into your flesh and thinking about your flesh more than your spirit, you are working with Satan. Satan is very, very crafty. He's very smart. But see, once you learn and you get the goodness of the good news, honey, Satan won't be able to be smart with you no more. You will be able to discern the good and the bad, the good and the evil. Let me say evil. See, Jesus, the goodness, our king, he the goodness. Satan is the evil. But see, he got to play a game with you to make you feel like it's the kingdom of light. No, it ain't the kingdom of light because the kingdom of light, you got to stand. You got to burn off those demonic spirits so the Holy Spirit can dwell within. I'm going to give you, because I'm driving and I don't like when people say, oh, driving, blah, 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 blah. honey, y'all drive and y'all smokes, so y'all driving, you curses, you drive with your music real loud, you drive and get on the phone, start fussing out your children, you're driving, you, I'm driving and I am giving the word of God. I will crash because of the word of God, because I know the father won't allow me to crash, but I'm just telling y'all, I'll run into something for the word. I'll run into something to read the scripture. You don't think so? Oh, well. I will, because the word is more important to me than anything in this whole entire world. I don't care if I crash into a pole. If I'm giving out the word, I'm giving out the word. Period. The word come before anything. My kingdom family come before anything in this earth. The father chose us, the chosen ones that really going to stand up. Like I tell anybody, you can you waste your time trying to blow my, my light out. You're going to waste your breath. You waste your breath when you try to blow the light out over here. We gonna die for the kingdom. We just like the prophets of the old, we'll die for the kingdom. Y'all worry about the wrong things. You should be focused on your spirit inwardly, not what's going on on the outside because we all done did some foolish stuff in our lifetime. We all done did some foolish stuff in our lifetime. See, y'all done been so equipped to um saying this and saying that all your lines with this these videos and stuff but you're really not looking at yourself it's time to pull the beams out of your own eye before you know it your life will went past you you won't even be worried about nobody else because you'll be so focused on getting yourself together that's how you do it in the spirit now that's working on yourself but worrying about other people being busybodies through other people, business and problems, you have a demon. You have a demon. That's why the father can't choose you because you you just you're too busy. You're too busy. You don't know how to stand up. You don't know how to cut off. You don't know how to detach. You don't know how to uh, disconnect. You got to have something that you got to 
pinpoint or you got to have something that you got to talk about. No, talk about yourselves. Get your children in order. Get your house in order. Get things in order. But I'm going to give you this. Um, oh, man, I got so much. Um, <sighs> Second Timothy. I got so much. I got so much I written down last night. I tell you the truth. My, man, I was in Titus. I was, <laughs> I was everywhere last night. Woo, woo, woo. Titus. Hebrews 3. 10 through 11, 12, 13, 18, 19. Go to 2 Timothy's. The, uh, 2 Timothy's 2, 1 through 3, 4, 7, and 10. I, I put down there, it's going to be tough, but endure till the end. But stand for the truth. Don't fall for no lies. We, I mean, lies been brewing for a long time. Um... I had put down many blessed. I had to write down all these notes. Holy, I was in the spirit real deep last night. Many blessed by the world using the kingdom of our father to get blessed. Many is doing hypocritical things. Many is putting out a lot of lies that they're for the father. But see, being as though we have the Holy Spirit, we see the truth. We ain't no fools. But the reason why a lot of people can't discern good and evil, because you are too vulnerable. You are too um, afraid to stand up to Satan. You are too um, weak to turn away from your addictions and your and your uh, convictions. You're too weak. So you don't want to be convicted. You don't want to stand up and, and stand up for the truth. You want to stand up for a half the truth. And you cannot serve the kingdom of God with a half the truth. You got to be whole, wholeheartedly in this. Because Satan going to come. He coming for you. When he see that you trying to serve the father. And serve him in truth. I mean the right way. You going to have so many battles. You going to see all kinds of things going to come your way. But one thing I can truly tell you. The father will see you through it. You just got to have faith. Faith is not something easy to gain. You have to grow. You have to grow just like a child. Like people say, oh, you're a woman of God. No, I'm not. I'm a child of God. I tell people that on a regular basis. Don't give me that woman of God stuff. I'm a child of God. I am his child. He is my father. That's where we at with that. I am not a woman of God. I am a child of God. I am humble. I am meek. I am obedient. I don't mind getting chastised. I don't mind getting disciplined because that's what we're supposed to be doing. We are children of the kingdom he chose his children we are children and we listen to him we do not go against him we listen to him we yeah we all was all we all have fallen we all have fallen not stay fallen we all have fallen you got to grab that fall you got oh i ain't going no more i ain't falling no more I'm going to be obedient. I'm going to follow the Father commandments in spirit. Not the carnal commandments. The spiritual commandments. Whole different level. But if you love the Father the way you say you love him. You will be obedient. You will follow that word. You will read the word. You will repent. You will fast. You will pray. You will detach from sin. Because you can. You is no such thing as I can't. You can. You got to bring in that willpower and break them strongholds. Until then, you're going to constantly fall. You're going to constantly follow the world. You're going to constantly do the things the world do. And if you don't grab it in time, you will die in your iniquities. And then who fault would that be to be cast into the lake of fire? Your fault. Because you can do it. Any of us can do it. You got to put your mind to it. Renew it. Romans 12 to renew it. Empty that old mess out. Kill the flesh. Because Jesus already did it. Our king. Our high priest, he already killed the flesh. Go in Hebrews 3, 10 through 11, 12, 13, 18, 19. Go in there. Go in there. Hebrews 5, 12 through 14. Go in there. Go in there. Read. Titus, go up in there. Hebrews, go up in there. Second Timothy's, go up in there. First Timothy's, go up in there. Read slowly. Read slowly. Not fast. Read slowly. But blessings to each and every one of you. Read, 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 read. Repent, 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 repent. Pray, 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 pray. 
on a daily. Pick up your cross and follow Yahshua HaMashiach. Watch how powerful you become spiritually. Kill the flesh. Jesus will do the rest. Blessings.